Well, here's a lovely boat. She's called Lady Jane. She's an aquiline. I'm a great fan of these boats. She's 60 feet long, 11 feet wide, so she's a wide beam. She's been in the same hands since new, 2011, and she's been so well looked after. Sunlight's against us today, look, but um, the paint works in very nice condition. She was just blacked in August 2020. She had four new anodes put on her at the same time, and she's been serviced the engine annually since launch. It was last done towards the end of last year. Really nice condition, pram hood. The cratch, co the cratch cover at the front of the boat as well, very good condition. It's a glazed cratch board. I'm going to pan round and just show you, she's lying at Gayton at the moment, and viewings will be by appointment only through the office. But I want to show you this, because this mooring is potentially available, there's no guarantees, but potentially available with a boat, and it comes with a garden. Stunning views over the North Ham North Hampshire countryside. Those steps are made of old pieces of lock gate. Some chickens, Henry and Harriet at the bottom of the garden there. Absolutely stunning little plot, barbecue. And it's worth showing you that. As I say, there's no guarantees, but it is a conversation to be had with this boat. Anyway, you're not here to see gardens. Let's go back and have a look at the, the boat again. Very good size on the rear deck, seven feet long. On we go. Lockers either side of the doors here. They have gas struts on those lids, so they lift up quite nicely. The engine's under here. It's a beta 56 horsepower. I mentioned it's been serviced annually. Hot water tank at the top there. That's brand new last year. Batteries at the bottom of the corner. Huge bank at the bottom of the screen. Huge bank of batteries. There's four 260 amp hour AGM domestics. One starter battery and there were two bow thruster batteries. They were all new in 2018. Lots has been renewed on this boat that it really didn't need it, but it's just the nature of the chap who owns it at the moment. And I find that with Aqualines, actually, the, the people who own them do look after them. Not much to see out of the front windscreen with the sun as it is, and down we go. The classic, very neatly arranged Aqualine electrics here. The boat's fitted out in oak. Oak, for oak, oak tongue and groove on the ceiling. It's painted on the cabin size, an oak faced ply below the gunnels. Lovely galley, this, 12 feet long, so much storage space. The worktops are oak. Bank of three good sized drawers. The floor in this boat is solid oak, actually, throughout. The current owner put down on top of that, so it's still there. Walnut, solid walnut in the galley, the saloon, and carpet in the bedroom. Cupboards everywhere. Move the bin I can show you in this one. These two. Never really quite sure if it's one cupboard or two, if it's one space with two doors, but there we go. That can fuel a bit of debate. Cupboards under here. This boat is lived in at the moment, so there are things in the cupboards. There are things in the wardrobes. There's the inverter. It's a three kilowatt Victron inverter charger. The batteries, there's Bumble. The batteries are so substantial on this boat that the washing machine actually does run as long as the engine's running off the inverter. Classic illuminated steps there, that's an aquiline trait. Bumble's just been out for a walk. A bit of a coach room here, fabulous space. Coke and wellies, the heating's under there as well, so it's a bit of an airing cupboard, that'll dry out damp things. And in here, this is marvellous, it's a larder. Floor to ceiling, great space. And this is neat, it's an illuminated wine rack. 11 bottles that hold, so you can put two cases in there while you're drinking the 12th. Shelves under these diagonal bits. The cooker itself is a belling, it's a four gas burner hob, oven and grill. Next to that is the Zanussi Larder Fridge. There's no ice box in there. You don't need one. There's a separate integrated freezer. We'll see that in a minute. Microwave up there. And here's the freezer. Now you know these get me going. The carousel type cupboard things. Really practical. And a breakfast bar here. 
you go. That's the view down the galley. Amazing space, work surfaces, everything really. A couple of stools at the breakfast bar. This is quite neat. Little cupboard there for tins and things. All the lighting on board is LED, head height 6 feet 8. And there's Echo, he's a new parrot on this boat. Huge cage, there's a side hatch behind that. Central heating on the boat, there's three radiators and a tower rail on board. That's an Aldi Comfort gas central heating system. There he is, Echo, Echo. <laughs> Great name. The saloon itself is large, 14 feet 8 inches long. There's a three-seater sofa bed, massive Super comfy armchair. There's a drop leaf dining table there with four chairs squirreled away underneath. And there's um, Webster. He's a 16 year old pug. Lovely chap, real gentleman. The television there is a 32 inch 12 volt Avtech. There's a DVD machine and satellite system with that and a sound bar. Cupboards and shelves all around the television. There's the solid fuel stove. It's a Morso squirrel. Another dog basket there, he's out on a walk with Bumble at the moment, that belongs to uh, Stella, another Jack Russell. Nice cupboard here with frosted glass doors next to the bank of, or in between the bank of shelves either side I should say. So there's the view down the living room. <clears throat> Not mention the solar panels on this boat, there's over a thousand watts of solar power. Absolutely phenomenal. Reduces diesel costs by over a third just with those over the last few winters. There's also a separate solar panel to keep the bow thruster char uh, batteries charging. So down through a corridor on the starboard side, there's undergunnel lighting there and a bit in the bedroom as well. Through the classic aquiline frosted glass door into the bathroom. Super in here, really nice, six feet long, tiled floor. Feels like a posh hotel room in here. Quadrant shower with tiles inside. The loo itself is an electric flush macerating pump out to a 215 litre holding tank. That basin is ceramic. Granite countertops here. There's also a spare porta potty on board just by the heated towel rail there. There is an emergency pump out kit on this boat as well in case you struggle. Good size mirror there under these over the granite worktops or countertops. The washing machine itself, I've mentioned that. It's an Indesit, brand new. And there are cupboards under the counter along here. Loads of places to put things in here. There's an extractor fan in this shower as well and a light over. Onwards we go into the bedroom. The bedroom itself is 10 feet 10 inches long. King size bed, 6 feet 6 long, 5 feet wide, storage under. And there's wardrobes everywhere in this bedroom. Lots of mirrors. <coughs> Bank of three huge drawers at the foot of the bed. Get that one shut. There we go. Myriad of shelves. Floor to ceiling. Large cupboard here, storage under that step, illuminated steps again. The well deck itself is, a, this is the chap's garage, so I can't really go on and film anything, but it's four feet long, bench seats either side with storage under, with a glazed cratch board and glazed front doors as well, actually. More wardrobe space and shelf space here. I think an awful lot of people watching this will have homes with less room and storage space on than this boat. Cupboards over the head of the bed all the way down. And the storage under the under the bed, two very good size drawers either side. So four in total. Bedside lockers either side, a little drawer and a cupboard underneath. Next to that, another wardrobe. This has a bifolding door, shelves behind that. And then 
of the wardrobe here. So absolutely acres of storage. The locker on the front deck, by the way, houses the gas bottles are 3 13 kilos and 2 6 kilos, and the water tank is underneath the well deck. Stainless steel, 770 litres, so quite substantial. There is also on the well deck a secondary water tank at a further 250 litres as a spare tank for when they were out continuously cruising. Hot water, that's heated by the engine, the Ebus back up the Aldi gas boiler. Or there's an immersion heater on board. That will work with the engine running, so you don't need to be hooked up to landline. And it's worth mentioning, actually, all the curtains were new last year in 2020. They're thermally lined as well. Not sure if I mentioned the double glazing in the bedroom. The bedroom windows are double glazed. The rest of them are not. So that's Lady Jane. We'll say goodbye to Echo and Webster. We'll go and find the other two dogs, Bumble and Stella. Further gallery of photographs and a fully downloadable brochure and the price on, is on our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.